Hi, welcome. Today I would like to talk about how you can use a Wireshark networking tool to capture WebSocket traffic. So with that, you can pretty much capture any WebSocket uh, traffic. So let's get started. Uh, basically, if you don't know about Wireshark, you can download Wireshark from wireshark.org. And this is the, the website. And it's uh, pretty straightforward and uh, you can download it for Windows. I have it now for Windows. You can, uh, it's available for other OSs also. And if you want to man monitor the local network traffic, which uh, I usually have to do because if it's a loopback interface or just a local traffic on my uh, PC, I want to be able to do that. So what you want to do is get raw cap as well. And this is uh, specific to Windows. So you can get those, uh, both of those. And I will put a link uh, on my website. If you search for WebSocket monitoring with Wireshark, I will put a link uh, down there so it will be easily accessible for you. So let's get started. The first thing you want to do is to start collecting traffic with RawCap. And I'll show you how to do that. Uh, basically, uh, you can run this program RawCap once uh, you have it available, the EXE. And um, so essentially it will come up with the interfaces which you want to monitor and here you can see the local host interface is also listed so i can just basically say five and it'll start monitoring and put it in some uh, dump file dot cap i'm not going to do that because i don't have a program generating websocket traffic but i've already collected this traffic in a file and you can uh, direct it to a file so once you have the traffic collected you can kill the program and it'll leave the file and uh, to monitor the traffic uh, or analyze the traffic, you can start Wireshark. And I started Wireshark here. And what I'm going to do is open the recent uh, file that uh, I had collected some sample traffic. And you can see here that the traffic is readily accessible. And what you want to do is in the display uh, um, filter, search for WebSocket because we are interested in monitoring the WebSocket traffic. And so you will see the WebSocket traffic being this is all WebSocket related traffic. And uh, one thing you can do is just click on the line based text data, or at least it works for me here. You can see that the WebSocket traffic data is being shown. You can see kind of uh, to and fro as to what data is going through. And uh, so that's pretty easy. And you can use it to monitor any web traffic that is going on any Ethernet interface. So thank you for watching this short screencast and uh, you have a great